let's get some uh, close-ups of C-Pin right in front of us. How can you zoom in? That is beautiful. Now, yeah. can you can you kind of go up and get the C star? Yep. Not super smoothly, but. <laughs> So much for the beauty <laughs> shot. <laughs> it's more of a still. Well, it's getting there. Oh, keep it. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Nice close up oh, on the ribbon current, pretty. too. Yeah. 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 About yeah. 15 knots, 14. There you go, Justin. Here's some Here's nope. some nice <laughs> video. That's the service. Right down there. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> great, guys. Oh, that's really nice. If you see something that I'm not paying attention to, Hey. <laughs> Gently. Particularly if it has a resemblance to a fishing line. <laughs> We're going to avoid anything that looks like fishing gear. <laughs> we'll keep our eyes out. Uh, you want to zoom in there, Al? On the grenadier? Oh, and a fly trap and anemone. This one's pretty cooperative. Usually they don't like to show their faces. All right. We're wide. Ooh, um, is that a cat shark going by? Get the cat shark, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of shark. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, cat shark. That really holding still, though. Nice little. Some coral. I thought yeah. I saw a sponge back there. Nice. nice little habitat. Yeah, some soft and. soft corals and hard. Bamboo coral, then. Nice. Oh, good, good. Wow. Screen grabs here. Yeah, you can see the, the foot of the gastropod to the left side, I think. So it's definitely live. I don't know if that's the exact one that laid the eggs, but it might seem plausible. Where's the nudibranch? Oh. oh my goodness, it's not a nudibranch. It's a, it is a snail. It took me the longest time to figure that out. <laughs> Kristen Little saying that the eggs look like nudibranch eggs and the snails are bathy bimics. Bimics. What's it on? Dish. Oh, yeah, what's it on? You got more zoom? Ironstone? Must be a china? Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, broken ceramic of some type. Is it a bit vintage? It must have been there a long time for this to grow on it. Oh. It looks old fashioned y, huh? Wow, iron. Iron steel, iron something. Huh. I don't think it's pottery. Dishes. Kind of a weird shape. Not a, certainly not a plate. See, we've got a white coralomorph on our right and a darker purplish reddish one in the bottom center. And these cucumbers can extend down to 1200 meters, so we're, we're at 1100 here, so getting close to their limit. Okay, Steve, you can zoom out, please. Thanks. And they are eaten by uh, other sea stars, leather stars and sun stars. <laughs> so these are either Funiculina or Halipterus. They are a complex that are hard to tell apart. Almost looks oh, like it has my. feathers. Yeah, reminds me of some science fiction. Yeah, with the eyes in the front, like, wah, wah, like something that would find spice or something. <laughs> it says they have a pair of horn-like sensory structures called rhinophores. Those may or may not be the rhinophores. They stick up from the head, and they're used to find food and mate. And these can be up to 20 centimeters long. They're twice the size of a regular nudibranch. 
at the least. And they are eaten by the sunflower star and other sea stars, stars, and they feed on octocoral. So you might have heard me say earlier that we see these at Sir Ridge climbing up on the bamboo corals, just going to town. They are voracious predators. 